Small, handy and practical. The remote control for the stationary heating TP4 from the firm Eberspecher. You can order the complete kit with the part number B66560606. And in it, all components are included for the retrofitting. However, before you start with the installation, the cable for the battery must be disconnected. You know the battery with the sprinter is under the driver's seat. Then five panels must be removed. One under the instrument board and those of the middle console. And on the passenger side, likewise below in the footwell and at the side of the glove compartment. The fifth one again is on the driver's side, the fuse cover. In the next step, install the antenna. Dismantle the sun visor on the driver's side. On the left side, remove these two screws before you separate the electric connections. On the right, there is one more screw in the opposite clamp, which is hidden under a small flap. With a plastic wedge, unclip the covering of the A pillar. Attention! With the sprinter, the covering is protected with a check strap. By the way, with the reinstallation, this strap is fastened to the pillar with a torque of 5 newton meters. The reason for the check strap, the window bag is in the A pillar, and when the window bag releases in an accident, the driver will not be injured by the cover. Proceed in the engine space with the fuse box. Remove the lid. Why? Well, we'll tell you more later. Start with the installation of the antenna for the remote control. Fasten the self-adhesive Velcro from the kit on the control device of the antenna. The control device is installed, by the way, in the footwell on the driver's side. Next, fix the opposite piece of Velcro above the parking brake on the metal holder. Now with the help of the Velcro, the control device can be stowed away safely in the footwell. Next, lead the antenna upwards and in the next step, move this along the A pillar. Run the cable along the installed cable. On the top, press the antenna cable simply under the headliner up to the height of the inside mirror. The antenna is fixed with cable ties in the A pillar area and snip off the ends. Now in the footwell, you connect the cable to the receptor part of the antenna. Next, the green cable is plugged into the switch of the stationary heating, namely in pin number 4. With the new cable, you can contact the switch again from the back. The remaining cables are moved from the driver to passenger's side. The covering was removed already from the middle console. Admittedly, there's not a lot of space here below, but it is feasible. Now on the passenger side, the ground cable must be connected to the grounding point. For this, remove the nuts on top of the grounding point and fasten the brown cable. Afterwards, tighten the nut once again. Now the cable is moved further up. Open the protected bag with suitable tools. This is fixed with a cable tie.
separate the plug's stationary heating and connect the cable in pin number 4. Afterwards, fit the connections together again and stow everything well protected in the bag. Close the bag with a cable tie. The cable fuse receiver must be moved then from the interior to the fuse box in the engine space. Connect the fuse. Now for the programming of the remote control. In the vehicle, press the stationary heating button until it starts to flash. And then on and the remote control. When the LED of the button goes out, you can let go. By the way, if you press the off button of the remote control within three seconds, you can program up to four other remote controls. Otherwise, it stays with just one. The final functions check. The remote control functions perfectly and the customer can now operate the stationary heating comfortably by remote control.